Right muckers, something a little bit different this week. Now I've been busy working on the transmission on the Major and I've been over at Matt's working on the AEC 77 engine, on the old Matador engine. Um, but as you're all aware, we've had a bit of a major decision to come to this week as to what we're gonna do with the Massey 175. Um, now, in the last video, we asked you guys what you thought. And uh, some people sort of said, yeah, just scrap it. Others sort of said, yeah, just restore it. Both have fairly big implications. And so um, what we did was just set up a camera and let it roll. And me and the Fud Weasel just went through everything and went through prices and whatever, and just, you know, to come to a conclusion. And uh, that's what we did. So you guys will get, as I said, like a fly on the wall uh, view on us coming to, uh, yeah, our decision. So, all the titles. Right, so I'm up here now. It's very windy outside, extremely windy in fact. Pretty windy in here too. Yeah, probably. Um, so, like I said, basically just to keep everybody up to speed, um, we've been chatting since we saw this the last time when I filmed it, and the old fud's done a bit more taking stuff off so we can get to and looking at it. That's right, I know we said to you, what do you reckon we should do when we first saw it? Should we scrap it, or should we, you know, do it and whatever? And there's literally a question because we hadn't made a decision and we to this point as you're watching me filming this we haven't but we're going to show you everything and then we'll, we'll make a decision I think I'd yeah. like to think so today we need to at some point it's just taking up space so now if I'm completely honest muggers uh, there's no two ways about it you know all joking aside you know this is where I thought Doing the whole point of this, doing this video is I'll, I'll sort of bring you along with a little bit so you can see the decisions we make and how we make them. Because there's a lot of stuff on YouTube which is done, yeah, to be honest, it's set up, okay, for entertainment value. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, we all watch stuff and we all get entertained. But there comes a point, I think sometimes, it's nice to be educated and, and shown and involved with not only, you know, how you repair something or you, you know, build something, but how you come to make that decision. And we both said, that's what we'll do tonight, is we will we'll show you that, that process and we'll be brutally honest um, with, I think, some of these mistakes and stuff, but... <laughs> But, you know, to, to be honest, um, right, the 165 was bought, it didn't sell in the auction, hasn't sold several times in the auction, didn't meet the reserve, and the old Fud Weasel put in a price, an offer, below, well below the reserve, and on some other stuff, but he got that. And as we know, as it turned out, we got it running, and it was seized. So, you know, as you do, you think you're on a bit of a roll. The 175, which you've wanted a 175, you know, for a long time. I have wanted a 175 for a very long time. Yeah, and one came up, which is this one again. Hadn't sold, didn't meet the reserve. He didn't offer the reserve, just put in a, a low flying bid, and it was accepted. Yeah. Now, we were both fairly confident, I'd say, that because what we'd done with the 165 would probably happen with this. We could get this freed up and, you know, it hasn't turned out like that. And that's just what happens. But again, look, the reality of it is, it was bought at the right money. So I think whatever happened to it, um, and I found a lot of water in places that not even a shepherd could get water in it washing it down. Really? Yeah, I found water in the air cleaner, right full to the top. Right water in the inlet manifold, a lot of water, not just a splash, right. a lot of water in the inlet manifold, water under the rock, rocker cover. Um, I haven't looked any more of that. So I think that it's either been in a flood yeah. 
or it's been completely underwater for some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I was going to ask you the other day, yeah. is this the right engine for this tractor? No. No, it's not? That's not. Um, I've checked the serial number on it, Yeah. and it's actually a 248. This is a 248? Yeah. Oh, and it should have a? 236. And what would a 248 go in? That's a 290, 590, uh, a lot of things like that. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's not in the right engine. No. So he's bu buggered one engine up probably, yes. <laughs> and then buggered the second one up. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, one thing w which we have already done um, the other day when before we left here, we did jack the back end up, and yeah. um, we know that the transmission is actually okay. It goes so, in and out of gear, gear changes whatever. gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've got a good transmission. Yeah. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's got a reasonably new clutch in it. Um, some old toggles from there. Okay, so it's had clutch. some clutch. Yeah, Sorry. okay. Now, Marcus, this is the other thing. The 175 is a fairly rare tractor, and a lot of people have already pointed that out. So when people sort of said, oh, just scrap that and go and get another one, this ain't no old 135. They're just they're in an abundance. You just go and pick them up. You know, that we're, this is a rare tractor, you know, for the, the, the 100 series. You know, the 165, there's more of those about than there are the 175s. This is where the decision has to be made. And I'm quite happy, and I think you are as well, but we just said that we'll, we'll sit down in a minute, have a drink, and just, I think we can chat about it. And I'm happy to film if you are. Yep. And then that way I think you'll be able to see it's a genuine decision we'll come to, hopefully. Uh, and then how we calculate, you know, the pros and the cons. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to sit down and I'll set the camera up and as I said, you can just be like a fly on the wall and we'll hopefully get to some sort of a decision. We'll get an idea, yeah. Okay. As we do this, I'll just, you know, I'm not going to do, you know, complete episodes on doing the 175, but if everyone, let's just say I'm doing something on the 8100, we'll have a five minute snippet each time as an update on where things are progressing, all right? And each time we'll look at what's been done, what has been bought in parts, you know, costs, we'll put them on a whiteboard so you can see the tally as it grows. Yeah. All right? Then at the end, I might put all the little bits into one feature episode, but we'll actually then have a proper breakdown at the end and look, you know. Because um, I think, I don't know, unless I'm totally wrong, we're going to do it. Yeah. To, yeah, to be totally honest, I haven't seen anything on there that really makes me think, oh my God. So, this is where, Mark, is you've got to balance up. It's not for resale, it's because you want one. I'll tell you what, if you want one yourself, at least have one you know is a good tractor and it's been done correctly. You've done it. Yeah. Rather than, yes, mate. I know she looks really shiny, done a lovely bit of paint on that. Oh yeah, we've done a clutch, you know, we've done this, had it all rebuilt. And they've, they've literally just rubbed it down and painted it. You'd never, until something goes wrong, you wouldn't know. So, that's all right, so we, that's, this is a decision, but it's going to be done. Yeah. Now, with that, with that, Muckers, a bit more sausage in. Thank you. It's got all work, you know. Now, with that though, and we'll look at the cost again in a minute. All seriousness, I know this is, uh, this will be good for the channel because people are obviously interested in seeing it. You know, I don't think any doubt about that. Mm -hmm. We'll do it in, as I said, little short segments on with other stuff. So it's not, you know, because you just have to get on with this. Yeah. We'll do what we can. I can, I'll help you where I can and whatever, but you've got the 165 to finish. That's, I want to get 165 finished first. The 165 has to be all up and running. So once that's runner, that can be put with the other yep. running stuff. We can move this yep. on the telly hand, put that across maybe over there again. Yep. So at least we can get through with the other kit, yep. because we can start everything up and move. So that's got to be done first. Some people were saying, oh, this would be a nice project for a long winter. We ain't got time for this to be sat around. And I know once you've got that done, you'll just get on with it and do it. Yeah. You got to because we got we don't have the time to mess around with a long project. And I might buy some things. And you you won't be buying anything else. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> banned from buying anything else. Um, all right. Back to prices. Yeah. 
ballpark for the moment. Yeah. Exact so. price is when we do it. 650 quid for the, let's say 700. Yeah. Front axle, done. Tombstone, done, yeah. done, right? New rad. 200 quid. Yeah. Other scenario. Go back to the original engine. Yeah. Short block and build one up. A short block? Because you've got bits. Yeah, I've got lots of stuff in stock anyway. We've got loads of stuff. So. But short block for that from um, one of the major suppliers. Uh, it's about 11, 1200. I'll, no, I'll pay about 1100 for it. All right. So we've got a bit. So, right. so then this, so we'll just say now a bit of bugging about, a few ancillaries, things not charging, <laughs> turning and charging. Let's just do ballpark on that, 1,500 quid, right? For another engine. Yeah. But that would be a short, basically new engine. Yeah. Right? So we've got, let's be sensible again, 500 if this is rebuildable. Yeah. 1,500 if we've got to put a new engine in. Yeah. We've got, we said we were up to about a grand, mm -hmm. 900 quid. But let's call it again, just a couple of hubs in this area. Grand. Could be 1500, could be then a grand, two and a half grand. We're at two and a half grand to here. Yeah. Then we, we assume then, as I said, from what we've gathered, Jack up in the back end is actually all right. Right? Yeah. But it's going to need things like lift arms, lift rods, leveling box. We need all that. It's going to need new pedals, new linkages for the pedals. Another 500 quid. Yeah. Steering box, rebuild, a couple of hundred. With maximum. That's assuming if I replace the whole casting. But if I can just put the innards and reuse okay. some of the insides, it'll be like 60 quid. All right. Um, instruments, battery, wiring loom, electrics. I'm going to go with the worst case engine. scenario of a short engine rebuilt. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go with that one. Okay. Anything else is a bonus. But let's go that. I'm now hitting from front to up there and coming back without any tin work. Yeah. I'm at about four grand. Yeah, it's, I'd say that's about right. And then tin work on top. What's tin work going to be? Because I know people sort of said, oh, it'd be nice leaving this working close. No, no, no. No, that's horrible. That's working close. Yeah. This ain't, this is like naked. This is like yeah. a fucking victim. Yeah. It, honestly, it's terrible. The only part I'll save off the, that is Side the panels. medallion, the two medallions and the Side um, panels. filler. Good. Yeah. All right. the, but what do you reckon? Side panels, I'll save. Mud guards have got to go. What are they going to come to a pair? Uh, so I, I'll, I'll be paying about two hundred and twenty quid a pair. For those. A pair. Yeah. So say again, a couple of fits in the brackets, like two fifty. We're now at four and a quarter. What are we going to go for on a bit of tin work, like on a bonnet, on a hood? That is going to be uh, in the region of three hundred quid by the time. We've got so we're four and a half up, five and a six, four six. Right. So, tell you where we're going to go with it, right? If it's got to be a short motor, so a rebuilt engine, top to bottom, we're talking to throw 5,000 quid at this. Yeah. Now, that's not with your time, I know. But, with what you actually paid for it, you're still in line, well in line. I... No labour, I know that. Yeah. But if, but if we're looking at just materials and the initial purchase price, I would be in profit by yeah. 500. Right? Yeah. Now, if we get away though with rebuilding this. Then we're looking a lot healthier. Yeah, we're, you'd say, we can say we can save a thousand quid straight off that, you know, yeah. four grand. And we have pushed things up because there's, there's no good mark. Tell you what people always try and do. They'll try and sit and, and convince themselves. Oh, I can get an axle for £330 in your carriage. Oh, oh yeah, right, it's another 60 quid there, 390 pounds You're at four. you know what I mean? You, you try and convince yourself, be realistic about it when you're doing this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as you say, there, there, there's, you know, people with other, you know, that, that try, I, I watch it myself where people are on this, oh great guys, I got this tractor and I'm going to have it restored and I'm going to do and it's only going to cost this and that. Well, hang on a minute, you're getting all your parts thrown at you for free. You already said that, you know. And then you got, you don't get a true picture of what something is. The other thing about it is, 
you'll see the horrors of this as we do it, because we'll, we'll show you. <laughs> as I said, we've got nothing to hide, much. At the end of the day, we've got nothing to hide. I've got a ton of stuff to do with the, with the channel, as you know. This is a bit of a surprise. Was, as you say, dropped in the lap. Uh, don't just say surprise, I mean, like he's shock, I think. <laughs> but, here's what it is. You got one? It's a 175 here. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna, I know what somebody's gonna say, it'll be like Trigger's broom. But, at the end of the day, you've got a starting point. Well, and there's a lot, there's a lot to say, mate. So there we are, Muggers, that's... It's a nice exhaust, though. It is a nice exhaust, not the right colour, but it's it a, nice a nice exhaust. exhaust. So that's what we've got. So there you are, that's, this is what we'll do then. So for two reasons. One, because he wants a 175, he's got a starting point, that's what we'll call it. Yeah. Um, he's going to do it. Um, yeah? Agreed? Yeah. You'll, you'll do it, right. So he's going to do it. Number two, for me, being a bit greedy and selfish, I will have a look in there so I can <laughs> do a little bit, you know, for you lot on the channel, or the rest of you might have a look at what's actually, how bad it is. I assume they had water in them. I mean, they've got, I'm, you know. I'm pretty sure it's yeah. had quite a lot of water. So, we'll have a look at the horrors of that, all right, Muggers? But, moving forward, we'll keep, as I said, just get this one done, mm -hmm. and that'll be, we'll have a good look at that, we'll get, you know, but, then when we get onto this, we'll get a whiteboard and we will just keep a tally of parts, right? But well, there is one thing that worries me. Yeah. Where's the bird's nest? There was no bird's nest. We always have a bird's nest. Yeah, Everyone knows. Everyone knows. No bird's no nest. No bird's nest. I'm, I'm do you know? And do you know what? Which is the only tractor we can't actually get turning? It's a bird's nest. It's a bird's nest. Yeah. Churn a desk in a bird's nest. You know you're there, don't you? Yeah. Not with this one. Yeah. No churn a desk. No bird's nest. Yeah. It's a shitter. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's it. That's done it. Yeah. Yeah. So, muggers, there we are. Uh, decision made. And as I said, as we go through it, we'll put the costs up as we go on whiteboard, and you'll be able to see what real world costs are. And uh, yeah, I think we'll save here and there. Don't get me wrong, but we always try and look at the worst case scenario. And I think, and yeah, you're pleasantly surprised when things you know go your way. But. Uh, that has been submerged, I'm pretty sure. There's no two ways about that. The water is everywhere in it. But there you are, win some, you lose some. And I think at the end of this though, we will win with it. Now, another thing I'd like to mention, Muckers, is my old mate, George Saunders. George, uh, he's got to 100,000 subscribers. He's been doing it years, and he's actually got to 100,000 subs. So well done, George, congratulations. And uh, as I said, it's, it's brilliant. So, you know, heck of a number to get to. Um, but I was talking to George Muckers, and I sort of said, George, what are you gonna do to celebrate? What would you like, you know, for people, how people could recognize you getting to your 100K? And this is what he told me, Muckers, he said, I'd like them to go with my latest video, and I'll put a link in the description, Muckers, below this video, all right? And that's the one with the, with the truck on, on the front, that's a silver Merc truck. Anyway, and he said, I'd like people to give me their fish and chip orders. No, straight up, Muckers, that's what he said. He said, I'm not to make a big list, but he sort of said, like, you know, cod and chips twice, or um, battered sausage and chips, uh, place and chips, and, a, you know, some fried onion rings, something like that, a can of Coke. But that's what he said, Muggers. So go over to George's latest video, and in the, in the uh, comments section there, Muggers, put your fish and chip orders, all right? Because it's what he said to me, and don't be a big pansy about it, lift your hem your dress, and put, oh, Mucker told us to put, no, just grow a pair of balls, go over there, and just put your fish and chip, well, like say, cod and chips twice, whatever. He'll love it, can't get enough of it. Honestly, muckers. If we can get at least a hundred of you buggers over there to do that in his comment section, I will buy George his big fish and chip tea, all right? Next time I see him. And be right, question time, muckers. Got a bit of sunshine today, and that's really nice. And like I said, you know, with the old restrictions and that hopefully lifting soon, that gives you a bit of a, it does give you a bit of a lift. You're sort of looking forward to stuff. People are talking about one or two working days and a few shows later on in the year. And that's, that's, there's a glimmer of light now at the end of the tunnel, muggers, and that's, that's really good. Now, with that in mind, I was thinking the other day, you know, there's some stuff, you know, kit that I've driven over the years or I've seen and been around and whatever. And I, I'm not saying I take it for granted, but, you know, I'm like, yeah, I've seen I've driven one of those and whatever. But muckers, be it a vintage tractor, a classic, or even a modern one, what tractor would you like me to go and have a look at and film? 
there must be something, as I said, that you've always thought, I'd love to have a look around one. And you know, as I said, if I can go and find one, we'll look around, we'll get it going and whatever, and, and have a good look around to give you a better idea. But what would be the tractor that you want me to go and have a look at when, uh, you know, when I say things, uh, things are a little bit easier in the next sort of few months? Put your answers in the old squid pit below, muggers. Now, muggers, as I said, as we progress with the 175, um, we'll keep taking you know, little peak previews at it uh, as we go along with the other videos, just to keep ahead, see where we are, see what progress has been made, see what parts we've had to buy, and we'll put the costs up on the old whiteboard. And then that way you'll get, as I said, get an actual real world breakdown of, of what things can actually cost. Um, but you know, I mean, we did have a, got an idea the other day that maybe we could, uh, you know, encourage you lot to buy all the merchandise offers. You see, we'd, we'd raise our money to do our restoration that way. Um, but luckily, Muckers, you know, because of the, uh, all the lap dancing clubs have been closed now for several months, and uh, so therefore me and the old Fud Weasel have saved a bit of money, you know, recently. So, uh, you know, every cloud and all that. Well, looks like that's that time again, Muckers. So, until the next one, do well.